Hey everyone, what's up? And today I'm going to be re reviewing the Marvel Legends the Retro Recorded uh, Craven from the animated series Spider Man. Uh, I got this from Comic Cocktails, it arrived today. So let's go over the packaging, shall we? So we've got the classic retro recorded ones that we've got. We've got the Marvel Comics logo right there, the Spider Man logo. Uh, Obviously, a photo from actual Craven from the series and the actual figure itself. Let's turn it around. So, we've got another photo of Craven there, same on the front, and some uh, like a CAD CAM photo there of Craven. And we've got a little bio there. So, if you want to pause that, you can read that just there. So, obviously, we know from Craven that he's a Spider Man villain, especially from the animated series. Craven is actually a big character at the moment in media wise because obviously Spider Man 2, the PS5 game, actually showed Craven as the villain. As you can see in the photo right there, the costume on him in the game looks pretty cool. And obviously, there's a Craven movie coming out, so Craven is quite actually getting bigger and bigger as like a villain in media sense, anyway. So, yeah, let's crack this open and get into the review, shall we? So here he is out of the package here. I thought I'd get him into a quick, nice and easy little pose. He does look pretty cool from the get. Uh, so yeah, um, let's take a closer look. Um, I'm loving the face sculpt. He looks very, very menacing and like angry and creepy, which I really, really love. And um, I'm really loving the lion pelt on him as well. There's not much an issue there. And especially on the trophy bit, well, pelt's trophy, his belt buckle, which you guys on, I want to say trophies or pelt. Um, it's either it's probably like a claw or something it's you can move the belt up and down uh the actual to teeth itself is quite hard but yeah um the pelt throughout the whole figure looks really cool there's some bits of paint missing but it's not like a solid piece it's quite bend there so i can understand what in, during packaging it's probably smudged off into the plastic shell getting it all together and stuff but it's not a major issue i'm not going to pose them at the back and for the spear itself, this came out really nicely. Let's go over that, shall we? Um, obviously, we've got some like, sorry, I'm shaking. This is like a more of a pelt from the line. It's quite bender. Then yeah, we've got some beads. And uh, what I love about the spear, um, it kind of reminds me of Tarzan, how it's like a massive stone sharpened and stuff. And the spear itself has got some nice brush, uh, some paint, and obviously it's sculpted to make it look like wood, as you can see there. Wait, if I just zoom, I'll do that really slowly. You can see like the markings, so it looks more like wood, which I'm really, really impressed with. It's the only accessory he comes with. I don't really see him see a point of him coming with extra hands and stuff. It's not an issue for me. Like I said, he looks really cool how it is. Um, very, very happy to have him in my Spider Man. Well, he's going to go in my Spider Man display, which I'm really happy with. I believe it was an import from Comic and Cocktails, and I'm very, very happy with it. Belt's a bit wonky there. You probably could take it this off, but I don't see a point. But yeah, um, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, let's go over the articulation, shall we? Um, so we've got a good spread there, and we've also got a bicep swivel. And we've got double jointed elbows. He is not pinless. So if you're bothered about having pinless figures, this isn't for you. So obviously, you know, we've got a full rotation at hand. Uh, we've got an ab crunch. It doesn't look like you can see the ab crunch there from uh, the pelt. But you can in one second. He has an ab crunch there. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the head. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Um, he can look up pretty high, but it looks really stupid, like he's missing part of his fucking body. <laughs> he can look down low pretty good, but obviously you can get it with the ab crunch. Um, he's not got good spread. Um, I don't know why that is. Uh, it's probably the joint there, but I can't seem to get it to go. Obviously, we've got to cut it the Thigh. We've got a good thigh swivel. Mine's a bit stiff, so I'm not going to force it. We've also got double jointed knees. I oh, do not. I'm really loving these boots. These look really nice. We don't have a boot. Oh, we do have a boot cut. Mine's just really stiff. So we have a boot cut there. And obviously, you know, standard articulation for the feet. 
So yeah, that's it for the obviously the paint apps and the articulation. We're gonna go over a few comparisons, then my final thoughts. So here is my comparisons with all my retro card. Besides him, he's renewed your vows. So we've got Doc Ock there, we've got Spider-Man there, Craven here, and obviously Shocker. See, these are all we're gonna go in my Spider-Man slash villain set, which looks really, really cool. I'm happy how these look. Uh, I do have Hobgoblin, but you know, defeat situation in the glider. He's annoying to get out and put in a review because of his stupid fucking feet. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this like comparison. They all, these are all going to look amazing on my shelf. So yeah, we're going to go over my final thoughts now. So my final thoughts, um, I'm a bit annoyed with these teeth actually because they look like Lil Wayne grilled teeth there. They look like proper fake diamond teeth and the moustache is a bit glossy as well. But from a distance... He looks pretty cool. I am happy with it. I definitely worth. It's definitely worth picking him up. Um, I've not. The only Craven that I've had before was the Toy Biz one, and I don't have him anymore. But so I couldn't really do any Craven comparisons. But the best looking one is probably this because uh, I love how the animated series figures look. Um, they're very bright and colourful, and especially for Spider Man villains as well. They just pop on their collection. So he's going to look really, really cool on the display of all the uh, retro carded Spider-Man villains and Spider-Man. I hope they do another retro card Spider-Man as well because I don't want to pay silly prices for that. But yeah, other than the teeth and the moustache, um, he looks really, really cool. Especially like if you look at his hair there, he's got some random streaks of hair just going down like he's sweating or on the prowl or something on the hunt as he, as he would be. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking him up because he is going to go for quite a bit of money as all the other previous Spider-Man villains do from the Retro Wave. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned to the very end to watch some cool poses that I got him in. Thanks for watching. Peace.